putting in the work. Uh, I'm not really running late. It might rain later. I don't know if that's going to put a damper on drone time. Sorry, I'm just stuffy this morning. Um, trying to figure out flights for a uh, Chicago Marathon. Whether I was staying out there till Tuesday or if I was staying till Monday. Probably gonna stay till Monday. <laughs> flights um, for when I come out to run the Chicago Marathon. Probably just going to fly out Monday morning. Monday morning. What? Probably fly out there Friday morning and leave Monday morning. A little expensive. More so thinking about uh, the hotel situation because because Saturday I would like to at least stay in Chicago since you know that way I could be right where the race starts instead of having to wake up even earlier and drive all the way out there. So maybe I'll book one hotel close to the airport for Friday, check out Saturday, head to the heart of town, and then go back to that airport, that airport hotel Sunday after the race. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because... And they want like an astronomical amount of money for the now before I even say that don't like sit there and think that like I didn't book a hotel a while ago I did you know I have one reserved in the heart of town Friday Saturday Sunday it's just they want an astronomical amount of money for it and at the time I was like all right whatever it's doable and then like things got screwed up so big deal. Could easily probably keep it for Saturday. But I'm gonna stop at the store and get to work. That's pretty much it. probably have all this figured out by my lunch. At least the flight. Might as well just get that out of the way. The, the confusion was whether I was staying till Tuesday or if I was staying till Monday. with Expedia I don't know if I'm ever gonna really book with them again because whenever you run into issues they really they don't accommodate you um, all right I'm gonna go off on a little bit of a rant I'll try to make it as quick as possible long story long all right a while back I um, 
I said this in the morning. I booked the one hotel in the heart of Chicago. I think it was like the White Hall or something like that. And I'm like, all right, you know, I'll save. And then I wasn't able to save. And it wound up being like it, the weekend would have cost like $900. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, check out Monday. So that was like 868 plus whatever they would have tacked on on top. Wasn't good. So I'm like, all right, what I'll do is I'll book two nights at the hotel I usually stay at outside of town whenever I fly in to see my girl. You know, we both love that hotel. So go do that. And I leave that gap on um, Saturday night so that I could have stayed in Chicago itself and been there for the race in the morning. Since I was going to already be out there Saturday probably to pick up my race packet and everything, would have just, boom, traveled up the street, checked into the hotel. No problem. Call the hotel. Oh, you booked through Expedia? You got to call Expedia. Call Expedia. Oh, well, sir, they're sold out for that entire weekend. Yeah, I understand that, but I already have a room booked. Yeah, we know, sir, but they're sold out. All I want you to do, Expedia, is pull off Friday and pull off Sunday and just let me have Saturday. Sir, they're sold out. Ma'am, I have a room already. Oh, we go off of a live itinerary, and since they're sold out, we can't do anything. Then the phone gets disconnected. She had me on hold forever. I, my lunch is over. I go back inside and they end up calling me back because I told her I'm going to get disconnected. So she calls me back. She still can't do anything. I call the hotel later on, explain to them what's going on. They tell me, this is at the White Hall. I ask them, I say, now listen, I'm not going to say this to you. I'm not saying it about you but I am gonna say it out loud. I'm like, so for lack of better words, you're basically saying I'm asked out. The lady responded with, yeah, pretty much you are. So they lost the whole sale completely. And I end up having to call Hilton back, which is fine, I love Hilton. Hilton, I think you are fantastic. I mean, there's bits and pieces I don't like, but overall, you guys are always accommodating, and I love dealing with you. All right, that's neither here nor there. So, call Hilton back, boom. Reserve the extra room. Now we gotta drive the hour or so, wake up earlier to make it into Chicago. Hope we can find parking for the race. All of that. Handle that, fine take a regular room don't even look for the suite you know whatever whatever they email me the itinerary and the confirmation prices are not what I saw on that call the hotel direct oh I don't see any of that on our end you got to call reservations back call reservations back they're like we don't exactly know what you're talking about I'm like look it's you know cut and dry right here on the app boom this is the price this is what you're charging me and it was like a $40, $50 difference. Go on hold, go on hold, go on hold. Finally, he comes back and he fixes everything. Price that I saw on the app, he adjusted it to that. And I think he even went cheaper and gave me the advanced purchase rate opposed to like the flex or the honors rate. Crazy. Now, if I really wanted, I could probably do my AAA on top of that, maybe. I'm not sure. So that's it in a nutshell. Now, I'm heading to my grams for a little bit. Eat, shower. Again, we have like next to zero clouds. I'm losing sunlight rapidly. 
don't know how the footage is going to come out. But we're going to try and we're going to see what happens. I hope you guys had a great day. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. And hopefully, I mean, I have like two weeks to the race and I have like no base mileage whatsoever. And I'm trying to decide to do a 5K race on Sunday. I haven't fully decided if I want to do it or not because it's like, all right, do that race. But then what about my training later in the day? Do I run again? Do I want to run again? Am I going to exert all my energy for the day in the race? And like fast kids show up to that race. So like you get stopped by the younger kids. But we'll see. I have yet to decide that. I got to kick it around in my head and decide if I want to put the extra funds out. But at least I don't have the bullcrap of the hotel in the heart of Chicago and whatever their security deposit would have been and all that extra nonsense. I just feel bad because my girl and I are going to have to run around. I'm going to see if I can get in touch with my buddy Sharesh that I'm running with and see if he wants to carpool or I don't know. We'll figure something out. But I'm going to head to my grams and then uh, check in with you guys in a little bit. Probably only to end the vlog. Alright, so that's my rant. I'm sorry. Um, I know it was long and semi-uneventful.
About to jump into editing and um, get everything done that I need to get done before I leave here. Eat some food, get a hot shower. That's pretty much it for right now. So, uh, gonna end the vlog. Catch up with you guys in the morning. Vlog over. Bye.